she kept her feet on mrs india platform as a winner as a state level winner and then she went ahead participated in national pageant one national pageant and then represented india internationally on mrs asia international 2018 and thereafter there is no looking back ladies and gentlemen i am dipali fadnes director of mrs india pageants would like to welcome a very beautiful and very talented classic mrs india 2019 winner and classic mrs asia international most charming face kajol bhatia hi kajol namaste welcome on board thank you so much namaste ma'am namaste world so uh of course it's been a very long and a very beautiful journey you know winning state level and then winning national level and then winning international level it's it's not that easy you know after going through such a big journey such an incredible journey and i'm sure it doesn't come that easy there's lots of hard work put in into it how it feels to be the winner of mrs india today oh it's the most incredible feeling truly and il- i'm truly elated winning so many titles four titles consequently in the matter of 10 months has been the most beautiful and amazing experience it has been a wonderful learning experience and uh, it's just like a dream come true and i'm sure you know there are there's so many women out there who want to live this dream it's because um being a beauty queen is the dream of almost every Everyone. woman every, every woman, woman. and especially you know um living that dream you know uh when you think that life is over and you know you are being loaded with so much of responsibility i'm sure you have um two uh, boys you're growing up two boys it's really not easy and uh, you're living in a combined family you know that's itself is a challenge so i'm not sure if it's a challenge it may come with the advantages and then you have been a housewife for 20 years so how it was to come out of you know the part of housewife to the beauty queen oh uh, well absolutely every uh, role comes with its own challenges mm-hmm. and it's ex- uh, it's just how you accept it yes. so for me being uh, 22 years you know living as a happy homemaker so uh, you know fulfilling my roles as a mother as a wife and yes. uh, daughter in law and things like that i have been enjoying family times and also of course i was socially active i've been into social service and i've been a social butterfly but apart from that from a homemaker to a celebrity is all thanks to mrs india pageants and mm-hmm. thanks to you ma'am for giving us this beautiful opportunity and um, absolutely nothing comes you know easy, easy. in life definitely yeah and it, i did uh, face a lot of challenges a lot of hurdles that came my way but uh, living in a joint family has its own advantages yes so i did have you know i have a loving and supportive joint family a very encouraging and eternally supportive husband you know he's the reason i'm here today and um, two wonderful boys who have been my strength they are so, your pillars absolutely absolutely they are my pillars and uh, the will the urge to do you know something an urge to find the find my identity last year at this time i was uh, the urge was so overpowering to find an identity of myself that the will was there the strong will and of course i'm a passionate person who likes to go that extra mile when i take up something so that is what made me face the challenges my mantra passion patience and perseverance you know leads to success True. so i faced each day as it came there were a lot of hurdles that came my way yes. but uh, uh, i think i did prioritize my work each day uh, what my uh, commitments were and uh, i think it was a beautiful learning experience I, learned i took it with all the positivity and took it as an opportunity rather than uh, just taking it as a yeah. setback yeah uh most of the time right i mean of course you have you know converted your challenges to the opportunities yeah. and you know you are here today you know sitting tall with you know the glittering crown on your head Absolutely. you know you are a role model you are just not a model you know you are a role model do you really feel that age defines you or age is the constraint that you know is a setback uh definitely not i think uh it is just the 
believe in yourself yes. you need to have your identify your talent and strength because each of us have a spark so we need to empower ourselves and uh, age is no bar absolutely because the will to do something nothing can stop you when you have the will the faith and the sincerity to work towards it uh, yes like i said uh, you know i stand here tall because i did believe and i did have my family and husband as my strength and of course the platform was given to me by mrs india and uh, you ma'am so and my husband gave me the wings and i flew high higher and higher yes so definitely i mean you know uh, we strongly believe at mrs india that i am woman eternally beautiful so yes. i don't have age nothing can be fine true so you know you are living your reign you know you are living your reign so beautifully you are living your reign so responsibly um we always feel proud when we look at the way you are living your reign you know thank you you are been of course you are a social butterfly you know but at the same time you are making sure that you are just not a beauty queen you know Absolutely. with the crown you know you are very Absolutely. responsible um what message you have for the aspiring beauty queens because now you are going to be you know on other side you are going to mentor yes. the the upcoming mrs india 2019 you are going to crown them you are going to mentor them so uh, what message you have of course they look forward to you right you are their role model and uh, they would love to know you know <laughs> what it takes to be a mrs india yes so um i strongly believe that we are the privileged lot today and uh, we come from a privileged society and uh, we get to live our life beautifully and it is our social responsibility to give back to the society to the people around us to the needy in whatever way we can because i believe if not uh, a bigger impact i think we can small conscious efforts you know make yes. a big difference so this crown comes with so much of you know love honor and respect that it it kind of induces the responsibility in you i um, don't take it as a responsibility but i take it as my nature because yes. you know i think it just it's within me so i feel that uh, whatever way i can live it and enjoy it to the maximum and leverage it to the you know ma- maximum Absolutely. that i can yeah. Uh, I am doing it and I'm loving it and uh, even after the rain uh, once a queen we always always, remember, a queen. always a queen so yes. I think my constant uh, effort and my endeavor will be to make the best of it to live it mm-hmm. you know king size yes. and uh, give back in whatever way I can and to these uh, incoming beauty queens uh, I would love to welcome them yes. you know I have been on the other side and now I'm on this side it feels wonderful very exciting and I'm so looking forward to it um uh, I know how, what they will be going through it takes a lot of passion a lot of sincerity a lot of effort to be there and the True. journey is a beautiful learning experience uh, I would like to tell the queens enjoy this journey because you know opportunities don't knock your door often and you're getting this opportunity to live this dream it's an absolute fairy tale believe me so uh, it does take nothing no pain no gain not, and nothing comes without effort so yes have that passion you know let it burn within you and uh, give it your best wear your confidence wear your smile and make your efforts and i'm sure the efforts will pay off i truly uh, can relate to them I can yeah. empathize with them because I have lived everything and I know how sincerely I have worked for it. So I would love to mentor them and you know guide them in whatever best way I can yes. and uh, you know show them the right way forward and I'm so looking forward to it because uh, it's a beautiful journey and I think we need to live it all, cherish it all as much as I do. I am humbled when you tell me that I'm you're proud of me and it's you such are. an honor. It is <laughs> It is see having a just beautiful face is just not enough to be a beautiful Absolutely. person. Absolutely. You know, it you should have a beautiful heart. Yes. You should be committed and you have everything with you, you know. It's it's such a an honor because at Mrs India we believe that we are a family. Absolutely. Know? And family is something that eats together, that stays together, you know, that grows yes, together. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, you have been committed I mean as I see you have been so much committed with your title, with your responsibilities and that commitment is what makes Mrs Absolutely. India. Absolutely. 
say ma'am i believe in committing myself because i think uh, this is my home this is a, my extended family yeah. mrs india team has been a wonderful and welcoming and loving family to me and uh, my commitment is as much as i can you know towards my family so it's the most beautiful thing that happened to me in uh, my life and i'm loving it i'm living it and i'm enjoying it to the maximum and it is such a wonderful feeling when everyone tell me that they're proud of me i'm so glad that i do not want to be the typical model yes. but being a role model it's been a privilege and a pleasure absolutely and this continue this journey will continue forever in yes. future because we are mrs india family absolutely and we are looking forward for incredible mrs india 2019 oh i'm waiting to welcome them <laughs> yes so it was nice talking to a reigning queen classic mrs india kajal bhatia and she will stay with us she's going to mentor our upcoming queens she's going to crown the new queens and the journey will continue with her with food correct and so many activities so stay tuned thank you so much kajol for coming thank here. you so much ma'am for having me over here and connecting me on this platform and through food connect it's been a pleasure thank you so much kajol. thank you ma'am